Hello everyone, uh, welcome to another videos for building the React application using a Spring Boot. So, so far what we build is we build a list of the customers and we could able to add our customers and we're going to able to select these guys, but we haven't created any functionality here, but we could able to edit this, but we haven't created any edit yet. So I'm going to do this first and I'm going to create the edit functionality. And to do that, let's go to the edit component and I'll open this edit component here and edit component. Uh, we create another functions here we'll just copy this get here exactly the same thing so it should be a put customer all right so put customer will need id but we will get the id from somewhere so this should be put and we'll get the id and as we know we get the id from our state so it's going to be state cost and state cost has an id so we have this guy so once we have this we don't have to do this and we also need to pass the our uh, data data in our message so which is going to be our set set state set cost all right so if i show you guys a little bit here so the set cost has the set cost and set cost has an id so it is passing so i'm using this so i'll put this here so i'll call this guy here so now you just want to let you know guys you can also send the event here and put customer event and you guys should validate first all the data is been filled or not uh, so the validation should be done here or you could also do a validation using the state on here or disable this like angular how the angular works but i'm not going to do a validation here so now so let's change this to, to whatever let me check the console log also and let me check this credit to something else so if i submit we will see the undefined here so why we see undefined here is because we didn't see uh we didn't see the cost state has a id so i want to see what's inside this guy first so if i submit let me submit this guy oh it doesn't have an id at all because we didn't pass an id here that was the issue so customer dot id so now we have an id okay so now if i submit then it it submit this data which is good but we get some error 400 let me see what the error is i think it's because of the date Definitely, it's because of the data, I believe. Bad request. JSON parse deserialize the form. Okay, let me check this guy here. Okay, looks good to me. Yeah, it's a calendar class doesn't like this date. The date format should be like. So as I mentioned before, we could also use here the calendar drop down. okay we found another issue is when we change this data we are only sending the name which is not that good we have to send the order value as well okay uh, okay we have to send the order value as well here so to do that uh, we found another issue here so on this name dot name value we will do this uh, uh, we need to pass what we need to pass a lot of stuff here we need to pass id and id is also coming from state state cost dot id and we need to pass the date of birth and date of birth is also coming from state dot cost dot dov and we also need to pass the id dov and credit limit and credit limit is also coming from state cost dot credit limit so this all data we have to pass otherwise it will only update only one state at one time so we, i have to copy actually i'll copy everything and i'll put it here just to comma here paste it here just need to fix couple of things here dob we don't need dob here so but we need a name so i'll just put here the name 
and I'll leave it here uh, and I'll copy this guy and I will do here again the same thing and this credit limit going to be here the value and this DOV should be state cost dot DOB okay so we don't need this credit limit here oh I think I already put it here okay good now let's see now it's passed everything is good but the issue is on calendar okay now it's passing successfully and uh, TSDFF has been changed here all right so the only things we need to fix is to date so I'm going to fix this date on next video and I'm going to also show you the delete functionality so that's all for this video thank you very much for watching